So PARP inhibitors are interesting molecules that actually have been around for a while um, and that uh, are derived from fairly complex uh, basic science. So uh, we know from patients with BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutations that certain DNA pathways are inhibited. And if you then impair a second of such pathways, then that's referred to as synthetic lethality and the cancer cell dies. And of course, BRCA mutations can be inherited, um, but they can also be acquired in tumors. So they can be heterogeneous or they can be homogeneous. Um, but when that repair, that associated uh, repair pathway, and it's basically homologous uh, repair or HR, is uh, knocked out um, by BRCA, then knocking out a second, the basic scission repair bear or homologous uh, end joining repair pathway with a PARP inhibitor is synthetically lethal. So that's one way that these drugs have been investigated and when they've been investigated in that population it's usually as a single agent. Now there's a second way there of interest and up to now that is the way that has been applied more to lung cancer where DNA damaging agents such as radiation, topo-1 inhibitors or platinating agents are given and when they do damage to the DNA then if a PARP inhibitor is given, uh, the idea is that damage will be augmented by a variety of mechanisms that are not necessarily clearly defined, um, but people are working on that. So that damage is augmented and again cell death is increased. 